Hi guys, it's been a minute. First off, Happy New Year. I took January off to focus on myself a little bit and plus it, they were just, I tried filming and it just didn't seem right in the moment because I started getting seasonal depression, which I still do have, but there was nothing to film. Um, I tried vlogging and it just, I started vlogging, never finished it, so, and it's just boring, so I never published those. Um, however, I'm back, so welcome. I'm going to just kind of talk about the future, what to expect this year on this channel. Um, I do plan on being very active on this channel this year. And although the beginning of the year didn't show that, I promise I will, especially we I have a lot of exciting trips coming up. I'm going to Punta Cana this year, I'm going to Outer Banks, and I do believe I'm going to go to Arizona by myself this year just to start looking because I do want to eventually move there. Um, so we'll see with that, but I want to take a, a friend's trip. Me and my friends are probably going to go to Fort Myers later this year. Um, so a lot of exciting things coming up, especially the fact that I'm starting college and all that so with that comes nerves and excitement but I'm so excited for this year and I graduate this year I forgot to mention that um so I know um if you were to look at my life update videos hell even like two years ago maybe even last year I talked about how I wanted to move after I graduated I generally wanted to move January of next year so this really would be my last year here and I was planning on moving to Arizona or Florida somewhere more down south something warmer just because the weather here just isn't right for me and although I would love to do that still it just isn't time yet um the more and more um life went on the past couple months I really felt like going to college was the right route for me and if you were to tell me that even the end of last year or probably like mid last year I wouldn't believe you just because I always told myself I knew college wasn't for me I told myself you know I try and find like a career that would suit me and nothing just seems to kind of play out in, in my mind and I just felt like doing even two years of school is an ideal for me. I just, I've never really liked school. I don't think anyone has, but I just felt like it wasn't necessary for me for the path that I wanted to pursue. And I looked at the bigger picture and I'm like, well, what really do I want to do then if I don't want to go? Like I would, I've always said I wanted to do YouTube, but realistically I can't do that full time right now. And it's not guaranteed to ever happen. So my goal was to try and be an editor for someone or a filmer or something. Kind of like go all out a little bit more west where things are a little bit more popular and try and put myself out there. But I figured, you know, I still need a 9 to 5 job. So um, I told myself, you know, I'm going to start looking at college. And then the more and more I started going to these Browns games, I fell in love with the sport and Browns and all that. So I realized, you know, I would love to be either a sports photographer or a sports videographer or even a broadcaster. So I told myself um, I was going to go to college for sports broadcasting and then do also minor photography stuff on the side uh, for classes. You know, take photography classes, you know, have the hands-on experience in classes so if things don't work out for sports broadcasting. Um, then I could always go later into that and also I do also have a strong background already with social media and cameras because of YouTube the past couple of years which has really been like a blessing in disguise that I've for everything I have done um, you know being in front of the camera too also moves those nerves out of the way so I was looking at journalism the past couple of days and going into that because to be a sports broadcaster you do need to go for media and journalism degrees so I'm going to a community college right over here I'm gonna be staying at home and I'm gonna be going there for media and journalism for me for two years and then I'm gonna to transfer to Cleveland State for the last two years um, and then because Tri-C is only a two-year program but they have hand-in-hand -hand, like a easy transfer program to Cleveland State so I'm gonna be going to Cleveland State after that um, which is still downtown Cleveland you know uh, so close to home I'm able to commute there and being able to drive downtown every day if I didn't go to Cleve If I didn't go to Tri-C, I would definitely go to Cleveland State. It's just ideal I like the school. I have a couple friends that go there right now So I'm gonna be transferring after two years to go there um, I'm going to be doing media and journalism degree but my main goal and end goal is to eventually be a sports broadcaster whether that's for a news channel 
or maybe even one day the Browns or whether that's Cleveland Cavaliers, you know, I would love to be a reporter for ESPN Cleveland. That's my end goal. Long run, ESPN Cleveland, all the way. Uh, you know, kind of like just reporting these sports. I grew up loving these teams in the city that I was born and raised in. So that is my plan with that. Um, I'm going to school for that. You know, I might change my degree. I don't know. Maybe I'll go and be like, this isn't what I want to go for, but that is for me to decide then. This is something I've been very passionate about the past couple months and knowing that I could be on the field one day at the Brown Stadium reporting or just something like that being, you know, being able to call football, like something around there, my, my job would be a dream. So I truly believe that that is what I'm meant to do and that's what I just feel like is right because that is the only thing that I've ever had interest to go to college into beside photography. So, say things don't work out with that, then I have my minor in photography, so I'll be able to be, I've always wanted to be a wedding photographer, a videographer, or even like an editor, or photographer, or, or filmer for someone for YouTube, and maybe down the line, maybe even this. So, that is my plan for the next four years for school. Um, I'm going to be staying at home all four years just to save money. My goal for the next four years is to do a lot of traveling. I want to travel a lot, um, obviously, you know, money will come back, time won't, so something else I've lived by, and, you know, go to concerts, travel a lot, but also in these next four years, I'm going to be doing a lot of internships, um, a lot of opportunities I can get because I've done a lot of research about this media and journalism industry, and what it is, is it's a lot of internships, building relationships um, with people and companies, you know, kind of so way when you get out of college, you can build your way into there. So, um, I would love to get an internship at ESPN Cleveland or wherever I can. Um, I'm going to be focusing on more on that sports aspect of the media and journalism. That's that. Um, videos this year, like I said, you're going to be seeing a whole lot of content, um, a lot of vlogs, graduation, prom, um, traveling, like I said, summer content, starting school. Obviously, I'm not going to have this typical college experience. I'm not moving into a dorm. I'm not going to be on campus. Um, I'm still going to try C for, like, in-person classes, but it's not like they have dorms. It's a community college. It's very affordable, which is very lucky because I'm saving a lot of money in the long run. So, very blessed by that. Um, I just wanted to document my life and share it with you guys. And Honestly, these next four years are going to be a hell of a journey, but I know it's going to be worth it, and I wouldn't want to experience it with anyone else except you guys. So, please stick along. Um... Just wanted to say I'm sorry I really been inactive and also you know what to expect the next couple years and also this year with content I promise I will be expect like one to two videos every week I would say at least one video maybe even two or three it just expect at least one video a week once spring starts picking up content will start to rise a little bit it's just there's not much to film because I'm working and I'm in school and there's not much like I can go like hey let's go to the beach right now you know there's not much to really film and even vlogs if I were to vlog I live the same day over and over again I feel like in the winter just because wake up go to work go to school like do school go to the gym you know so, if I have any different video ideas or stuff that you guys want to see, please let me know. But, yeah, the bachelor is on right now. I just wanted to film this, give you guys a little update. Tomorrow, you guys are getting my Valentine's Day room tour. So, two videos this week. I might even post one later this week. I'm probably going to, in the next couple weeks, I might pick up on content a little bit because I really haven't been um, uploading the past month. So, please bear with me here and... Yeah, I'm so excited for this year and to get back. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everyone has had a great new year so far. And this is our year. 2023 is our year. I graduate. I start college. Things are going to go awesome. So I'll see you guys tomorrow at my room tour. Bye, guys.